ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as our graduates process into the gymnasium. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the presentation of the colors and the singing of the national anthem.
Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Chief Master Sergeant and Valdosta City Manager, Richard Hardy. <laughs> Reverend William McKee. <laughs> Dr. Angela Gozier, Senior Department Chair, Valdosta Campus. Mr. Scott James Matheson, Mayor of Valdosta. <laughs> Ms. Catherine Amos, Assistant City Manager of Valdosta. <laughs> Ms. Joyce Evans, District 1 Commissioner. <laughs> Ms. Emmanuel McCall, Force Development Flight Chief, 23rd Force Support Squadron. Ms. Patricia Thomas, Campus Center Director, Park University. <laughs> Ms. Tamora Temple, Military and Veteran Support Services Director for Wiregrass Technical College. <laughs> Today is the culmination of hard work, sacrifice, and for some of you, tears. Not just the tears of our graduates, but the tears of our family and friends as they encouraged you along the way. You, your family and friends, and all of us should be proud of your achievement here today. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we love you tonight. God, we're thankful. God, for the culmination of hard work, Lord, that these graduates have put in this evening. And Lord, I pray, God, and ask your blessings upon them as they enter into this new stage of life. Lord, I pray, God, tonight, Lord, for anybody here that doesn't know you as our Lord and Savior. God, I pray that they would confess their sins before you repent and turn and trust in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. I pray, Lord, ask your blessings upon our night and that everything would go smoothly in your name. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. It gives me great honor to introduce our commencement speaker. 
Mr. Richard Hardy has served as the Director of Public Works for the City of Valdosta, Georgia since September 2014. He directly oversees nine divisions, which include commercial and residential sanitation, recycling collection and distribution, right-of-way maintenance, Sunset Hill Cemetery, Mathis City Auditorium, fleet maintenance, facilities and ground maintenance, and the roll-off division. He's in charge of a lot, you guys. Okay. Hardy currently serves as a member of the American Public Works Association, APWA, Small Cities and Rural Communities Committee, and is currently an active member of Georgia's APWA Southwest Branch. He is the Vice Chairman of Deep South Regional Municipal Solid Waste Management Authority, where he represents the City of Valdosta in sanitation, grant acquisition, landfill disposal requirements. Hardy is a former APWA President for Georgia's Southwest Branch. He is a 33-year Department of Defense veteran and a retired Chief Master Sergeant of the United States Air Force. He holds Bachelor of Science in Occupational Education for Wayland Baptist University, a Master of Science in Information Systems from American Centennial University, and has received his Certificate of Local Government Management, completing the Management Development Program from the University of Georgia, Carl Vinson Institute of Government. He has also completed seven tiers of professional military education focused on leadership and management and he was also recently appointed as the City of Valdosta's City Manager. Welcome to the stage, Richard Hardy. Well, I hope I can uh, live up to that introduction. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate each and every one of you for this accomplishment. General Calhoun, members of the faculty, members of the graduating class of this great institution of learning. Ladies and gentlemen, I need not pause to say how delighted I am to be here this evening. As I do, I think of the word opportunity. So I'm very happy to be here and I'm deeply honored to have the privilege of being a part of this commencement observance. And I want to express my deep personal appreciation to your distinguished president, and to the Board of Trustees for extending the invitation. As I'm standing here, I certainly feel a deep sense of appreciation for all that this college has meant to the city of Valdosta and the surrounding areas. I would like to have you, the members of the graduating class, and all assembled here to think with me this evening on the subject, opportunity and second chance. I normally start out with, this is not about me, but I'm going to talk about me just a little bit this evening. I grew up in a very small town, Jonesville, South Carolina. So small that my first and second grade class was in the same room. Imagine that. All I wanted to do, my dream was to go to college. I wanted to be an electrical engineer. How do I go? I can't afford it. To pay for this college, I decided to join the military, so I joined the Air Force. I joined the mighty, mighty U.S. Air Force. Not as an electrical engineer, but as an aircraft mechanic. So, what an opportunity. So I'm in the Air Force, I get to go to college, but not so fast. I need to complete my CDCs, CDC, my career development course. So I did that, but I still want to go to college. So talking to my supervisor, who was attending college at the time, suggested that I take my first class with him. I said, you know, maybe I could do that. This individual has experience going to college. Uh, help me along the way. My first course was Russian literature. I just told you I was from a little small town in Jonesville, South Carolina, and I'm trying to 
take Russian literature. My first class, I received a big, fat D. What a way to start college. After this experience, I decided to put college on hold and I concentrated on my profession. Two years in the Air Force, I opted to apply for a special duty assignment as a military training instructor. As you notice, the individual with the round cap, they do a lot of yelling and screaming, shape up, ship out. I could see myself doing that. I was selected and off to Air Force Basic Military Training in San Antonio on a three-year control tour to train the Air Force newest recruits. What an opportunity. Now the fun part, I needed to complete the military training instructor school. Three weeks into the course, I washed out, failed. I was recycled and I had to start all over again. I was provided a second chance. After going back out into the squadron, regrouping, learning some different things, gaining my focus, I returned back to the MTI school. I made it through, and I was finally a military training instructor. What an opportunity. I get my first flight of airmen with a trainer. They wouldn't allow me to uh, train these airmen by myself because very new. Six weeks later, completing the course, they graduated and off to technical training and then to op out into the Operation Air Force. I am now a fully certified military training instructor. What an opportunity, what a second chance. Now to maintain all of this proficiency and standardization each year, all of the basic military training squadrons are evaluated by standardization and evaluation on standard operating procedures and instructions. I'm fresh out of school, remember I washed out, I got a second chance. So I get selected to teach a drill movement. I was, selected, I was selected and evaluated to teach a drill movement. I was so nervous, I really was. I failed. Now what? Six months later, they allowed me uh, an opportunity to have a reevaluation. I was reevaluated, not as nervous, however, I received a marginal. Marginal, what, what, what's a marginal? Barely exceeding the minimum requirements. Now I am marginal. Well, the next morning I had to report to my commander. I was sure he had, I'm sure it had something to do with my marginal performance. I marched in, saluted, and reported. My training superintendent was sitting on the couch, relaxed. I was really nervous. What's gonna happen? I reported in, my commander asked if I wanted to, to do the job. I said, yes, sir, more than anything. He dismissed me, I saluted and departed. I was provided a second chance. I completed the remainder of my tour as an instructor receiving nothing lower than excellent or outstanding ratings on all of my evaluations. I produced several honor flights and received a decoration for a successful tour. Later, I was reassigned and returned back to the Operation Air Force in my prior career field as an aircraft mechanic. As I grew in my military career, I re-enrolled in college. I reapplied to return to basic training because I enjoyed it so much. I received my Master Military Training Instructor Certification I earned the prestigious blue rope, top 10% of the instructor corps. I was now best of the best. And I'm not bragging, I'm just stating something. I was selected to be a member of the standardization and evaluation team, the same team that failed me when I was teaching the drill performance uh, evaluation. I was appointed to the position of Commandant of the Military Training Instructor School, the very same school that I was recycled and washed back in. 
I became the training superintendent of the same squadron. I failed teaching the evaluation and the reevaluation. During this time, I completed four associate degrees, a Bachelor of Science in Occupational Education, a Master of Science in Information System, and I rose to the highest enlisted rank as Chief Master Sergeant in the Air Force. And four weeks ago, I was appointed as city manager of this great city of Valdosta. What an opportunity. I was given a second chance. Without failing at one thing, there won't be the opportunity to try again. Learn and grow. Life isn't static, but dynamic. Learn to embrace whatever situation you may face and strive to overcome. Believe in yourself, knowing your best is yet to come. Thank you, and I wish each and every one of you very much success. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Professor Dixon. I am an English and reading professor here at Georgia Military College. It is my distinct honor this evening to announce uh, those graduates who are honor graduates within the 4.0 system, those who have served or are currently serving in our uh, United States military, and members of Phi Theta Kappa, the International Honor Society, invitation only for junior colleges. We will begin today with those serving in the United States military. I will call your name. Graduates, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please hold your applause until the end. This evening we have military members, servicemen and women from the United States Army, the United States Air Force, and the United States Navy. Oceana Graham, Jennifer McCoy, Katherine Peterson, Haley Bennett, Jenny Johnson, Jade Minor, Taj Pinkney. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Those who graduate cum laude, in a 4.0 system have maintained a GPA of 3.5 to 3.64 throughout their college career. I will call, graduates, I will call your name. Please stand when I do. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will hold your applause till the end. Cum laude graduates, Kenneth Armstrong, Evan Copeland, Denise Mack, Please hold your applause till the end. <laughs> Chantel D. Ferris Arrington, Kaylee Daniel, Travis Porter, Gina Willis, Shelby Carter, Catherine Hogan, Abigail Shelton. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, magna cum laude graduates graduate with a 3.65 to 3.79 GPA across their college career. Graduates, I will call your name. Call your name. Please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will please hold your applause until the end. Magna cum laude graduates, Whitney Cargill, Ziana Morgan. Sierra Gibbs, Heather Sapp, Oceana Graham, Tamika Vinson. Wait. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> S 
Summa cum laude graduates graduate on a 4.0 scale with a 3.8 to 4.0 GPA. They have maintained nearly an A average throughout their entire college career. Graduates, I will call your name. Please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will please hold your applause until the end. Summa cum laude graduates, Jacob Bryan, Jenny Johnson, Jennifer McCoy, Jemiah Wade, Keeley Crosby, Shauna Junkins, Jade Miner, Logan Williams, Jimena Gonzalez Herrera, Xavier Lee, Bridget Singletary, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor this evening to announce graduates of this class that are members of the Phi Theta Kappa uh, Honor Society. In order to receive an invitation, Phi Theta Kappa is invitation only. In order to receive an invitation, the student must achieve a 3.8, 3.5 GPA or higher and have a minimum of 12 hours within our institution. In order to remain a member of Phi, Phi Theta Kappa, they must maintain a 3.25 GPA. Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, I will call your name. Please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, hold your applause until the end. Chantel D. Ferris Arrington, Jeff Allen Carabello, Keely Crosby, Jimena Gonzalez Carrera, Dorothy Miles, Logan Williams, Abigail Ashley, Whitney Cargill, Rosa Flores Gonzalez, Denise Mack, Jemiah Wade. Ladies and gentlemen, PTK graduates. Good evening. According to Oxford languages, acknowledgement is defined as the acceptance of the truth or existence of something. When I communicated to our faculty whom they would like to acknowledge as the distinguished graduate, I received terms such as responsible, personable, inquisitive, attentive, advocate for students at GMC College and the GMC family. This student worked in our student program, participated in the Student Government Association, and was a member of the Student Honor Council. Therefore, this day, we acknowledge with truth and sincerity as our 20 23 distinguished graduate, Mr. Kenneth Armstrong. <laughs> Come on up, sir. Now it's time to acknowledge, and again, remember, what was the definition? Truth and sincerity, existence of something. We want to acknowledge today our Adjunct Educator of the Year, Mrs. Frances Pope. Come on up, Mrs. Pope.
Next is the Educator of the Year, our full-time faculty member, Professor William Harris. Now, we shall have a conferral of degrees from Mr. Blair Dietrich. Graduating class, will you please stand? the Georgia Military College Board of Trustees, and with the approval of the faculty, I hereby confer on you the earned degree with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. At this time, please move your tassels from the right to the left to signify your graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2023 graduating class of Georgia Military College. All right, graduates, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, when we begin the procession across the stage, I ask, like always, <laughs> I am not hopeful. <laughs> Please, everyone likes to cheer. Everyone likes to be cheered for. Cheer for your graduates. That's why they are here. You have put in as much work as they have to get them to these chairs. <laughs> graduates, at this, at this point in time, graduates, I would like you to cheer for them. Thank you. Now, everyone likes to be cheered for, everyone likes to cheer. I ask that you are respectful of the other graduates so that everyone can have their name heard. Can we all agree on that? Can we all agree on that? Outstanding, Marshals. Terry Taylor. Katherine Peterson. Haley Bennett. Crystal Herrera. Gabrielle Stanford. Chantel D. Ferris Arrington. Hunter Rice.
Jemiah Wade. Raven Washington. Jennifer McCoy. Eleanor Marie Pearson. Ayana Naomi Unique Myers. Janae Marie Hill. Kenneth Armstrong, Jr. Trayvon Nakia Alston. Dorothy Miles. Arlie Jane McCraney. Sarah Elizabeth Pearson. Shante Rose. Javier Jones. Dianca Dante Jackson. Jade Minor. Rosa Flores Gonzalez. Drew Williams. Xavier Lee. Allison Cerise. Denise Mack. Lorana Maria Star Cato. Stanisha Wright. Jaquita Terry Morrison. Logan Nicole Stevens. Jernishiana Mathis. Jayla McCrory. Tanya Michelle Griffin. Joshua Saxon. The Shay Sims. <laughs> o 
Oceana Graham. Ziana Morgan. Shelby McKinnon. Jaden Durr. Jamie West. Jeff Allen Carabello. Ashley Faith Jones. Laren Rebecca Godwin. Logan Williams. Kaylee Jade Daniel. Michelle Henry. Destiny Jordan Balter. Shelby Nicole Carter. Keely Elizabeth Crosby. Jenny Johnson. Jaquay Clark. Jimena Gonzalez Herrera. Elise Singletary. Kaylee Ann Thomas. Savannah Delaney Bruckner. Abigail Ray Ashley. Lexi Vargas. Willis. Hannah Rowe. Shauna Renee Junkins. <laughs> Selena Pice Lopez. <laughs> Rakendra Kia Anderson. Elisa Pontis. Taj Pinkney. Morris Anderson. Okay. 
Ashanti Wills. Avantiana Woods. Tamika Vincent. Alex Romulo. Keisha Wade. Sierra Shakoya Gibbs. Lichelle Denise Rice. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to present to you the 2023 graduating class of Georgia Military College, Valdosta, Georgia. Please be seated. Please be seated. Association and our association president, Edwin Ammerman, let me offer congratulations to the class of 2023 for achieving a great milestone in your lives. Graduation is always a time of celebration of your hard work, the great uh, hard work, the ability to persevere, and a dedicated focus on your goals. <clears throat> Each of you has modeled that through your efforts and has successfully completed this part of your journey. The opportunities that you've had here at GMC have prepared you for what comes next and wherever you may go. We are proud of all that you've accomplished and more importantly, the leaders that you are becoming. You entered this commencement ceremony as a student and you leave as a Georgia Military College alumnus. You now share a special bond with more than 26,000 GMC alumni from across the nation and the world. You are a key individual part of a greater community. The transition from student to graduate makes you a partner in the future of your alma mater. I want to encourage you to become active and involved in your alumni association. The, the alumni association only works if you're invested in it. Never forget the future of GMC rests on you. Now, graduates, please stand. Graduating class of 2023, you are now officially inducted in the Georgia Military College Alumni Association with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. You received your GMC alumni pin as you walked across the stage today. We encourage you to wear it with pride. Ladies and gentlemen, please give your newest Georgia Military College alumni a round of applause. <laughs> Class of 2023, as you move forward in your academic and life pursuits, we hope you'll always remember the time that you spent here at GMC and the legacy of leadership that you are a part of at Georgia Military College. Congratulations, class of 2023. If you will remain standing, we're going to have Reverend William McKee come forward for the benediction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is one of my uh, privileges tonight to uh, announce two of our dual enrolled graduates. These students are in high school while also attending college 
at Georgia Military College and have graduated tonight with us. Moroni Millard, please stand. Janae Hill, please stand. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, please rise for the benediction from Reverend McKee. I just want to take a moment to, uh, if you don't have a church home, uh, we'd love to have you come to Northside Baptist Church. Congratulations, graduates. Let's pray. Lord, we love you tonight. God, thankful for the opportunity we have, uh, Father, to celebrate these graduates. And I pray this evening, Lord Jesus, uh, God, your blessings upon their lives, upon their families. Lord, I pray, God, tonight that you be with them. Lord Jesus, we love you. And we're thankful for you. I pray this season in Jesus' name. Amen. First Peter 1 6 reads, Be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead. Graduates, you've made it through long lectures. Am I right about it? Extreme exams. Wacky workloads with your family, friends, and your jobs. Now, whether you've reason to take your next step as a transfer student to complete your bachelor's degree, but don't forget, we have BAS degrees online. Or maybe you're gonna go into the military, workplace, mission field, travel, whatever your adventure will be. Have joy. What is joy? It's delight, it's success, it's purpose. Joy is intentional, and on dependent of circumstances. No one can take it away from you. Every day will not be easy. You will have challenges, but in all you endure, choose joy. Congratulations. I'm back again. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to thank you so much for attending the 2023 commencement ceremony for this distinguished graduating class. Please allow the faculty to process out of the gymnasium before you rush your graduates. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, distinguished members of the alumni and dignitaries on the stage. Thank you so much for this evening. Thank you very much.